Welcome to the Trust Factor Radio, bringing you interviews and insights to unlock the power of the subconscious mind to create authority, credibility, and trust with your host, the authority architect and best-selling author, Neil Howe. Hello and welcome to the show. This is your host, Neil Howe, and today my special guest is Andrew Bain. He is the owner and brand strategist at Elevated SEO in Omaha, Nebraska, and he is going to be talking to us today about uh, lead generation and how small businesses can get more leads for their business. So welcome to the show, Andrew Bain. Hey, Neil. Thanks a lot for having me today. Well, tell us a little bit more about yourself and how you got started in this industry and more about Elevated SEO. Yes, sir. I um, just want to thank you again for having me on, and I'm really, really happy to be here. Um, hope, hope to drop some good knowledge for you and your audience and, um, you know, hope that, that my strategies can be beneficial for you guys. Excellent. So yeah, a little bit about Elevated SEO and Web Design. We are a online marketing company for small businesses, and we specialize in the home improvement industry. Um, it's a little less PC to say white collar, blue collar these days, but we we like that. So anyone you know that is looking for emergency services in the white collar or blue collar industries, such as doctors, lawyers, roofers, carpet cleaning, those type of things, um, people that need to be connected. That has really become our ideal client uh, all these years. Hmm. Yeah, th- those services, when somebody needs uh, somebody fast, uh, they could <laughs> generally go to the internet uh, that's not the only people that go there. A lot of people go and do research as well before they make decisions. But yeah, those emergency services, uh, you really need to be found right away. So you know, talk to me more about some of the problems. Obviously, being found is one. Uh, what other problems do you see that these companies have? Yeah, so when we started this business um, in 2010, both my partner and I were uh, looking to transition into other careers. Um, and, you know, the cool thing about our business partnership is we've been good friends since childhood. Um, and that doesn't always work. But in this case, at Elevated, it has. Um, and I kind of run the day-to-day operations. So what I, what I set out to do was a lot of like your typical online marketing strategies uh, like affiliate marketing and other things that I had learned back in, you know, about 2007 to 2010, um, searching online. And I kind of realized what our original mission, um, which actually has held true all these years, which um, it makes me kind of happy to realize that although we have other business segments, um, our bread and butter is still that SEO and web design. Um, But my point is that I went searching to figure out how small businesses can approach Google in this day and age where the phone books were going out and the newspapers and print were going out of circulation and Google uh, and Bing and Facebook were basically becoming the new engines to connect business owners with their ideal client. At the time, it was seemingly almost impossible for a small business owner to navigate the landscape of the internet and figure out how to do this on their own. And I, uh, I quickly understood that you know we needed to figure out a strategy to help help business owners and marketing directors navigate this complicated landscape of of the internet well yeah there's uh, what 28 million or so small businesses in the united states and they all need clients and uh, one of the main issues i guess is lead generation so how do you go about generating leads for these businesses yes sir um, well, I think the first thing is a combination of what I call dominating the first page of Google. So 
when you're doing search, you want to be found in the organic search, in the local listing or map section, as well as in the paid advertising section. So you kind of want to be in all three spots. And those positions are ever-changing as Google changes their page layout. But you really need to be able to dominate those positions to be able to get found so people will click on your site and ultimately contact you so then you can proceed with your service offerings. Mm, And how do you do that? Um, So the first thing that we do is go through the website. We kind of look at your traditional aspects, like your meta tags, your meta titles. Um, We do a full site audit on your code, make sure that things aren't broken. Often do like a pingdom.com and see how your site grade is with your site load time and site speed for speed optimization. Um, Then we'll proceed with fixing any of those challenges. Um, Keywords, believe it or not, is a major factor. So uh, not only with like display banner ads that follow you around, those still all start from keywords, right? That's why they're more expensive. Um, and display and banner ads are less expensive. So we'll pick keywords, sit down, have a strategy session, talk about you know what your products and services do, what they offer, who your ideal client is, maybe come up with a client avatar to see who indeed is your ideal client. Although some marketing directors say don't uh, create a client avatar. That's for another discussion, but um, it's good to know who your ideal client is and who you're looking for, and what kind of demographics and audience that you're reaching to. Um, and then we plug in those keywords and really optimize your entire portfolio uh, for those keywords and your NAPs, which are your name, address, and phone number. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very important that they're congruent across all of your platforms, including your local listings, your Yelp, Facebook, Bing, Yahoo, Apple Maps, Google My Business, that these local listings uh, stretch far and wide, as well as have the same name, address, and phone number. Now, when you're sitting down with a client and you're talking about uh, keyword research, uh, and I know you said you don't necessarily want to create an avatar, but do you sit with them and ask them who their ideal client is and uh, really focus that keyword research around uh, those kinds of results? Yeah, I think it's a combination of the keyword research um, based on Uh, what the keyword planner or some third party uh, there's third party softwares that you can pay for that that will do similar things to Google AdWords uh, keyword planner. Um, So we'll take, we'll take a combination of like, let's say for example, roofers, Chicago versus roofers, Lake forest. And we'll kind of look at, how many searches Roofer Chicago has and what the competition is and compare that to Roofer's Lake Forest, which is like a suburb of Chicago. And so we want to make sure that there's enough search viability to make that keyword, you know, a value value add to your website and we'll actually drive enough searches. That's kind of one of the hardest parts about keywords. Um, is making sure that like, oh yeah, hey, you come up here and you come up here, you know, um, but maybe those search terms are not really driving much traffic. So that's kind of one of the the odd entities of keyword research. Um, I always like to say, just to back up one step, with search engine optimization, I find that you have two important values. One is that your company's reputation based on someone looking for you uh, with your business name and making sure that what comes up 
is what you want to have come up. So like if we do SEO for you, our, our link building strategies will go and basically aggregate all of the links and website data and propagate them on the first two to three pages of Google so that when someone types in, you know, elevated ink and toner, that uh, my company comes up first and then my Facebook and then my Yelp, Merchant Circle, Manta, so on and so forth, um, that you're really dominating your own business name page. And some people, like for example, we have a company called Commercial Cleaning Omaha, and their company names Midwest Cleaning Services, then you hope to come up under that keyword. So that's called exact match domain names. Those can be hit or miss, but when you're trying to dominate your first segment, which is your brand name and your online reputation, that's a very important aspect of search engine optimization that business owners need to know. Moving forward with number two, the other important aspect of search engine optimization, local listings and first page domination is being found under those key terms, keywords that people are looking for for your services without knowing who you are as a person or a company. Yeah, that's right. I always say to people that there's two searches. First of all, you're trying to search for uh, the service that you're looking for, uh, which could be uh, a roofer in Omaha. But then you get 10 you know, or more results on the page, and, th- and then you're qualifying them. And that's where they're looking into the reputation. And that's more the conversion uh, mechanism right there is that second search, which is more about the uh, company name and uh, the reputation of that company. So as far as uh, getting those leads uh, in that local area, like you said, I think Lake Forest area of Chicago, uh, if somebody just wants to do business in one particular area like that, what is the best way to attract leads for that area? Yeah, great question. Um, So you want to look at audience and demographic. and you want to use your city name in the keyword research, you want to make sure that your address and Google Maps is all up to date. Um, Preferably, you're advertising in that city that you're advertising for, that your address matches that. Um, That's going to help. Um, To really enhance your online reputation and profile, you kind of need to have a lot of the same things that traditional direct marketing uses. You need to have conversion mechanisms. You need to have testimonials. You want to have video testimonials, uh, third-party validation. Um, You want to have a call to action. And obviously you want to be able to explain your product and service fast enough so that people can take that action within 30 30 seconds to a minute because that's about all the time that you're going to get on your site if if the consumer is confused. Right, and that all comes back to website design and having a good user experience so that people can clearly define if it's the right place that they're on and then also take action. Do you see a lot of uh, old websites out there that really don't have that good user experience? Uh, Yeah, yeah. It's funny you say old websites because that really is a a trend um, with WordPress being this new platform that everyone's got around, um, WordPress being a content management system. And we've built hundreds of websites in WordPress and optimized them, and it does work really well. Um, We're actually developing our own CMS right now. Before we started using WordPress, we used a a custom CMS, and I've used a bunch of different ones like Drupal and Joomla and Magento and Shopify and just about any CMS you can really imagine. Um, And since we 
do so many sites in WordPress. It's going to be a little bit of a change for me to get away from it, but we've been building our own, like I said, content management system uh, to uh, give a better user experience for our clients. I think moving forward, um, being able to make updates and changes more easily, which has kind of always been the promise and have better uh, back-end dashboard notifications, analytics, those type of things. Like, so clients can really see the strength of lead generation, if you will. You know, and I'll tell you what, Neil, the, the one thing that if you could really prove a, a lead all the way from its conception to its sale to its post-sale if you can track that all the way through, then I think you have a real lead generation system. Um, and it's very difficult and it's hard for clients to accept that there may be holes or leaks in their funnel or that they are not using the software properly or not engaging in their, their CRM enough, you know? And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of little intricacies that the client, um, or business owner um, has a hard time following because it's a lot of work, you know, and, and you really have to follow up with each individual lead as if they were, you know, the most important lead you, you have. <laughs> That's right. It's all about systems, but, you know, there are steps and systems that require a little bit of work, um, but it's good to be able to put that little bit of work in to get the end result, and that's uh, paying customer. Uh, Andrew, what kind of uh, misconceptions do you hear about the SEO or digital marketing world? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I think the most uh, recent one that's so annoying for all of us is the robocalls that say your Google listing is not up to date. <laughs> and that one I get from clients all the time. And then they'll tell me it again. And I say, you know, remember last time I told you that that's not Google and then Google will never call you like that. And they say, I know, but I just keep getting them. <laughs> um, those have got to be the most obnoxious uh, warning. Your Google listing is not up to date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, don't hang up. <laughs> yeah, don't hang up. And and I've actually seen behind the hood on those systems and how they work. And for anyone that wants to know, um, they actually robo dial about uh, 30 phone lines at a time and hope to reach people and it plays a message. And so they'll add 30 to 50,000 data records and call 30 to 50 lines at a time. Um, and they're just a really obnoxious, they're called press ones and it's a whole industry. And I just, I just don't like it. Yeah, I mean, the percentage of people that they get has got to be minuscule, but I guess if that business model works for them, um, fair play. Uh, you know, I prefer to deal in trust and relationships, and I don't think that's a great way to start it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and, you know, that kind of leads to um, your online reputation and your trust. Um, Online marketing, I don't think, can be the end-all, be-all of your business, but it can fill in the you know, last 20 30% of, of those clients, um, of those new clients that you're looking for. You, know? you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Um, and you know, building, doing networking and doing direct marketing or uh, cold calls, um, it all works within the system and mm -hmm. I, I would like i would like to touch on systems for a moment if i could and the importance of them um go ahead so with our search engine optimization we've developed a system and it's been vital from the very beginning to be able to maintain these projects and ever since we started we got our first roofing client in 2010 um we have run uh, search engine optimization campaigns every month for all that time, you know, and so I feel really blessed and grateful to be able to do something like that. Um, between that and our web hosting has been uh, the residual income that really keeps 
keeps us in business. Um, but the system that we use is, is a real good strategy to be able to help the client understand the importance of search engine optimization and be able to be a part of the process. And it's such a um, uh, kind of alternative method of marketing that people don't always understand it. And that's one of the big misconceptions um, that you're, they're hoping for a result that organic SEO is not necessarily going to give them. Mm. Um, and so managing those client expectations is very vital. And that's, that's another part of the system. Um, but we try to keep it pretty simple. We run it through a few different softwares. We create a bunch of different backlinks. We make sure your on-page and off-page optimization is taken care of. Um, we run regular code and site speed audits. Make sure that your hosting is up to date and secure so you don't get hacked. Um, you want to make sure that you have an SSL certificate so that Google likes your site better. You want to make sure you have Google uh, Webmaster tools known as Search Council now um, that you're pinging Google on a regular basis. You want to have a sitemap, an XML uh, sitemap um, as well. Uh, and these I, are, you know, Andrew, talking about all those things, it's, there's so much for a business owner to think about. Just, you know, that's probably a, a portion of the things that you cover. Uh, but they also have a fear about, you know, who to talk to about this. Uh, what fears do you see coming from some of your clients about, well, somebody told me this and I have to do this and that. Do you see them getting worried about these kinds of things? Yeah, quite often on a regular basis. Um, it is a theme. Uh, I think there's a, you know, you got to be careful of, of online marketing companies that, you know, um, I get a lot of business because I'm local, right? So I have a storefront that people can come into. They sit down at my desk. I go over things with them. I show them. I engage with them. And I, I try to bring them into the process. And, and I think a lot of times over the years, there's so many intricacies and moving parts of a search engine optimization campaign that it's, they get overlooked. And a lot of times clients will not... Uh, providers will not basically take your money and run you know mm -hmm. they'll not send you reports or they say they were going to do this oh well you know now you have a new team manager and we need to bring them up to speed and there's just so many things um i hear so many excuses from these companies um and i'm such a small company and yet we don't make those same excuses right um, and again that comes down to relationship and what do you uh, really want to do for your clients. Obviously, the happier your clients are, the more referrals that you're going to get and the more raving reviews that you're going to get as well. So uh, give us some examples. I know you've worked with a uh, roofer for a long time, but any other examples of uh, people that you've worked with? You know, What kind of issues did they have before meeting you? What were you able to do for them? And ultimately, what's the outcome? Yeah, well, I think the outcome, uh, we like to say more traffic, more business, more sales. Um, and we use the build, optimize, manage methodology. And that's held true. Um, our mission statement is to, to help mass um, business owners navigate the landscape of the internet to connect with their ideal clients. And um, there's just a lot you know, and at the end of the day, um, I think right now we're working with Lux Pacific Beach at Lux, L-U-X-E-P-B.com. And they're a new uh, jewelry and loan company in San Diego. So we, we started um, to build their website, engaging with the business owners themselves to help them with content and finding pictures, finding the theme, figuring out what they want their brand to represent and how they want to say it, and really put it all together. Um, once the website was done, after a couple months, uh, we then started, uh, the doors opened in July, and we started doing SEO using Google My Business. 
Um, they set up their Yelp profiles and Facebook and Instagram to really make sure that they have all their bases covered. We do the local listings, the Apple Maps and other map sections. And then, um, then we have to go in and make sure the website's optimized and start to generate some customer calls and some retail engagement. Um, so ultimately, people are coming into the store and finding them and making sure, you know, that that the world knows they exist. Mm. Yeah, and that's what it's all about is uh, being uh, available for business, being found and uh, having people come into your, whether it's a storefront or website and making purchases. So, Andrew, if people want to reach out to you uh, for help with their website or with generating leads for their business, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have two websites, www.elevatedseo.com and elevated.ink, like ink. Um, we can be reached there. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, backslash Elevated SEO. Um, and you can check out a few of my YouTube videos uh, online as well. And yeah, um, it's, it's something that, you know, I feel like after doing this for, for so long that not a ton has changed, but we've gotten better at it and I can explain it and articulate it better. Um, it's fun. It's a good way to make a living and, and it helps people. So I'm happy, happy to be doing what I'm doing. Excellent. Well, that's always great when you have a passion for doing what you're doing and for helping people get results uh, that's why people call you. So Andrew Bame, owner and brand strategist at Elevated SEO in Omaha, Nebraska. Thank you very much for being my guest on the Trust Factor Radio today. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure. It's all mine. And to our listening audience, if you like what you hear, hit that like button and share, and we'll see you next time on the show. You've been listening to the Trust Factor Radio with Neil Howe. To learn about the resources mentioned in the show and to listen to past episodes, go to thetrustfactorradio.com. To get a copy of the book, The Trust Factor, go to thetrustfactorbook.com. If you are ready to act now and build your authority, credibility, and trust, schedule a consultation with Neil at theauthorityarchitect.com.